Today is an exciting new topic, which I'm really interested to learn about. And it's going to go off of our wearable technology kind of theme. And this one in particular supports aging in place. And it is going to be smart glasses today. So to begin with a little table of content, contents on what we're going to be exploring together, we're going to talk about what smart glasses are, how they work, and how they can provide seniors with augmented reality features as well. So just to begin with a little definition, smart glasses are also known as augmented reality or AR glasses, and they are wearable devices that use a transparent display, which then overlays digital information onto the wearer's field of vision. So you can see here is a little photo and you can see on the left side, it kind of just looks like a normal glass lens. But then when you look to the right, there's a text message from a friend named Alex. So it's really cool that technology can do this for us now. In particular, they are designed to provide users with hands-free heads up display of various forms of information allowing them to access digital content and also interact with their environment in new ways. So it's really about enhancing the experience of the user in many different daily activities that they may be doing. So some of the features included in smart glasses, typically there's a camera, microphone and speakers, and sometimes there are also sensors, for example, accelerometers, gyroscopes, and also GPS features as well. So there are so many different options and different types of smart glasses will have a different range of these features. They might also have a sort of built-in wireless connectivity that will allow you to connect them to other devices, which will then let you access the internet. So now, importantly, how do they actually work? There are so many cool features that they have, but it's also important to understand how they actually function. So smart glasses combine a microphone and a miniature speaker that are kind of built in to the structure, which allows the user to have a hands-free experience, allowing them to make searches, communicate, have audio feedback, receive notifications, and they can also even play music and listen to podcasts. Smart glasses also have sensors that track the wearer's movement and location as well. So the camera on the smart glasses captures whatever the person wearing them um, has in their surroundings, allowing the device to recognize and also track objects and surfaces in the real world. So this is how the smart glasses actually interact with the environment around the user. The device has a processor which analyzes the data that it takes in from the sensors and cameras, and then it generates digital content that's based on the wearer's environment as well as location. Then, once the sensors have processed whatever input is in the environment, the digital content is displayed on a transparent screen right in front of the wearer's eye. And it's going to be overlaying the real world which, with digital information. So you can see here's another example of a pair of smart glasses. You can see some news articles here. You can also see um, an option to open a certain program. So there are lots of different things that can pop up on the displays. So with all of these amazing features that they have, it's also important to ask how they can actually provide seniors with augmented reality features. So smart glasses are designed to assist older ad adults to overcome challenges and limitations. So it's kind of a tool that enhances accessibility. And it does this by allowing them to monitor and maintain their health. And also it can improve quality of life as well. 
Smart glasses can improve daily activities, for example, shopping online, accessing health information, and also communicating with families. There are some primary applications of VR or virtual reality, as well as AR, augmented reality, that smart glasses can include. There is real-time translation, fall prevention, cognitive training, virtual travel, medication, and also meal reminders. And it also allows seniors and other users to use navigational skills while walking or driving. And one of the really great features of some smart glasses is real-time translation. So the devices can actually incorporate real-time translation capabilities, which allow seniors to communicate more easily with people who are speaking in different languages. They can also translate spoken language into text or even display subtitles on the glasses screen, making it much easier for seniors to understand what is being said. So that can be something that's very helpful to people who may be hard of hearing. Subtitles will appear, so it's kind of like um, a, it's transcribed for you, so you don't have to ask, you know, what did you say, and ask them to repeat it a bunch of times. You can just read it on your glasses. Now, there's also a memory assistance tool incorporated in smart glasses, which can provide seniors with memory assistant features. So this will help them to remember important information, for example, the location of their keys or the date of an upcoming appointment. Virtual notes or reminders can be displayed and then will appear on the wearer's field of view. There's also the opportunity to have a navigation tool within smart glasses, which can incorporate navigation features to help with directions and information about surroundings. They can even display virtual arrows or signs that guide people to their destination and even provide information about nearby landmarks or points of interest so that you can get around as easily as possible. And one of my favorite features of smart glasses is the opportunity to go on virtual tours and experiences, as they can provide users with virtual tours of museums, historical sites, and many other locations, which allows users to enhance their enjoyment of cultural and educational experiences. They can also provide immersive virtual experiences, such as visiting a foreign city or attending a concert, a sporting event, or many other things for entertainment. So now we're just going to go through a few resources together that will allow you to learn even more about the topic. And to begin, I'm going to click on the first link. And this is going to take us to a website that speaks about a certain type of wearable glass brand. Um, and they're directly aimed to support seniors. You can just read through it and learn more about how to wear them, how to use them, what they can do. We have some images as well to kind of keep you interested, which is awesome. So you can take a read through that website. You can also look into this article here called Smart Glasses Could Revolutionize Days Daily Living for Seniors. And it's a few minutes to read it so you can learn about some basic information like what are smart glasses, how you can benefit, benefit from them, complexity of the technology, and also you can look at related articles that you may also be interested in. And finally, you can go to this article. I think it's about a few minutes to read, and it's about um, some seniors in Japan who have been helped to peruse store shelves from home using smart glasses which is awesome. So kind of a success story of this kind of technology you can get and have an understanding of what other people have been doing and how it's worked for them. So you can read through that article as well. We can send them in the chat for you or you will also receive a copy of the presentation next week, early next week, and you'll be able to access those links. So that does come to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for listening and joining in today. 
If you'd like to learn this lesson with a Cyber Seniors Mentor, please go to our website or call our phone number to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone session. And we do also host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern time on Thursdays for any tech-related questions, and everybody is more than welcome to join in. Thank <music> you.